Hi, the boy's father, aunts, and uncles, along with their attorney, wrapped up a news conference a short while ago. They announced that conditional settlement of $32 million to be paid by LA County. Now, 10 year old Anthony Avalos was tortured and killed back in 2018, allegedly by his mother and boy, her boyfriend. Heather Barron and Kareem Leva are awaiting a criminal trial. Now, Anthony's father, Victor Avalos, sued LA County about three years ago. His attorney announced today that the county has tentatively agreed to settle and pay $32 million to Anthony's father and three of Anthony's half-siblings who were also allegedly tortured. Anthony, uh, rather, attorney Brian Claypool said DCFS was notified 13 times of abuse within that home, but they dropped the ball. They didn't give Anthony the lifeline he needed. Anthony's aunt said family members had contact with him for the first seven years of his life, but after that, his mother had custody of him and they were not allowed to see him. DCFS took that away from me. If we would have done things differently, maybe he would still be here with us. You know, I, I put all my trust and faith into a system that at the time I didn't know was broken. If I would have known, now, known then what I know now, trust and belief, I would have never called. We would have tried to figure things out just like we always did. Nothing is going to bring him back. And that's... I don't think that's that's fair, you know. A responsible Department of Child and Family Services would have removed this little boy in 2015. And guess what? He'd be alive today and he'd be smiling today, but for DCFS miserably failing this little boy. Claypool said they have a separate pending lawsuit against Hathaway Sycamores, a mental health agency that was supposed to provide counseling for Anthony. He said the agency was not in contact with the DCFS. He claims neither communicated with the other about what was happening in the child's life. Now, Claypool says the LA County Board of Supervisors still needs to approve this conditional settlement, and that process could take anywhere from 30 to 90 days or even longer. Reporting live in downtown LA, Kimberly Chang, KTLA 5 News.